I was having a conversation with one of the brothers who later went to Egypt after me just the other day while in isolation. And we was talking about how it's bringing back a similar feeling and that we want to go back to that place. And that because, um, I don't know, little things like my daughter, I haven't seen her face to face for like four weeks now. Oh, really? So I go on Zoom and I do like an Arabic class with her. And when I'm on Zoom with her, we like, it's like she sits down at her desk and um, with her younger brother, Ayub, and it's like, they're sitting there in front of me and I'm doing like Arabic, exactly how I learned it in Egypt. So I'm saying like, Hada kalam, <laughs> like Hada maktab, Hada kitab. Hada kalam, la, Hada kitab. Like, and they're doing it, repeating after me. And I'm just thinking, this is mad. This is exactly how I used to learn the first um, lessons when I was in Egypt. And it just reminds me, it's all of these kind of things that we didn't have time to do and we was just rushing around, chasing the world, chasing the world. It's like now I find that we're, sit, we're settling down and we're having time to sit and do that for an hour, not rushed, like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's bringing me back to those days. And um, I was talking to a brother on the phone and we was talking about Egypt. And in the evening I do this class where a sheikh does a lesson and all of us just in there listening to the lecture and stuff and taking notes. It just brings me back to those days because I'll be honest, I haven't been doing these kind of things. It's like I've been so busy, lost, chasing the world, chasing the world, running fast. We're so busy. like oh, I've got to... And sometimes you think you're doing good. Like, oh, I've got to go to this event. It's a charity event. It's good. I've got to go to this place. It's for a good cause. I've got to go there, go there. But sometimes you really just need to slow down and just think about what, not just what you're doing, why you're doing it because you forget the why mm. like you're doing so much you forget why you're even doing it in the first place we're so busy it's just like hold on why and this this time has allowed that breather to say wait what am i doing with my time and why am i doing these things and what do i need to be doing so and this was the beauty of egypt like there was nothing to worry about we didn't have letters coming through the door with bills we didn't have to worry about paying for this and paying for that so working literally I was paying like one dollar an hour for my classes and that's all we had to worry about. Like what time's the teacher coming today? Pay you one pound one dollar an hour. And then in the evening, get the um local imam comes, he used to come and do Quran with us, Tajweed in the evening. And it was just like that's all we had to worry about. And our biggest issue was are we gonna eat local, the kushri, or are we gonna go big today and get a hardies and a oh you might have done a hardies, like we're spending big, like Brothers, slow down. That's how it was like. Oh, I'd, I might like sneak off and say, I'm getting a McDonald's today. Like, you know, hit Sarag Bull, get a McDonald's. Or can we go to the juice bar after class and everyone's getting sugar cane juice smoothies and this. This was our biggest issue. That, that, this was our biggest issues. Like, we didn't have nothing to worry about worldly so much. It wasn't about, we're walking around with s slippers on that was worth two pound. They had like the O2 sign on them. But... <laughs> Now you wouldn't wear that. It's like, what's this? O2, you want to wear something that says Givenchy or that says um, Fendi or something. Then we're wearing O2 slippers that we buy from a local shop called Tawheed and Noor. And we're wearing the phobe that we buy outside the masjid. The man sits on the floor selling phobes like for 20 janae, 50 janae, 60 janae. And we're wearing them phobes. So our outfit's worth not even eight pound. And we're walking around with the sunglasses acting cool. But our focus was on the things that matter. And in, it, we wasn't distracted by the things that never didn't matter, like the things of this worldly life. And we wasn't being judged on our clothes. We're catching the bus, like get on the buses used to drive past. Ram Sears, Ram Sears, Ram Sears. And I'd be like, right, that's my bus. Jump on that. Get on. Give him one Janae. Sit on the bus. Get off. In London, I remember a time in my life where I used to say, I don't get on the bus. Like... I'm just too like cool for that. Who gets on the bus? Like I don't get public transport. I went from from fifteen on a moped to motorbike to cars, and you just think I'm not, I'm too good to go on the bus. Like I'm too good for London transport, and you create you have this ego, and I'm too good to wear no name clothes. I have to have the best trainers and the best this and the best everything, and it's like 
where did we get this ego from? Like, who who made us so special? Like, why are we? Why do we think we're so special? Like, that we can't do these things. And the beauty of Egypt, it humbled us and 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 let let us just think about the things that mattered as young boys coming from the streets, coming from crazy lifestyles. It made us just focus on what really mattered: unity between us, friendship, and I feel like and and love between each other. And just doing simple things like learning. And I feel like this isolation quarantine has brought us back to that in a sense where I'm not getting dressed up every day. Like my trainers, I've got so much, I haven't worn them. I've been in slippers every day, like, or socks rack, sliding around the house. Um, I put on tracksuits every day, hoodie and jogging bottoms, t-shirts and shorts. I haven't worn my watch for like four weeks. Like these things are collecting dust now. My car hasn't been driven in four weeks out there just collecting dust like the things that and then I start thinking what was we what did we really need all this stuff for anyway and I really really think to myself when this is over do we just say all right that's finished now let's just go back to being busy doing rubbish or do we just Mm. say you know what I took something from that we turned that hardship into a lesson and I can take something from that lesson and say, you know what, when this is over, I'm not going back to the busy chasing, chasing, chasing because most of the things I was chasing and spending my money on, I realised I didn't even need. What do we really need? Like now, I'm cooking every day. My cook hasn't been switched on so much. <laughs> in free. I think I switched on my cooker more times in the last three weeks than I have in the last three years. And it's like all that money we're spending on like takeaways and restaurants and eating out. And yeah, I definitely got something beneficial from this time, 100%.